Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today I'm going to show you how to winterize your lawn tractor. Put it away for the winter so that it'll start up really good in the spring. First of all, I'm going to start with this old Craftsman Kohler. And uh, the deck underneath it has caked on grass, so I have to get under there. And you want to scrape all that off because that will hold moisture and possibly rust your deck from underneath through the winter months. And that's not a good thing. You don't want to have holes in your deck. So we're going to clean that up. And we're going to clean all the leaves off the top of it. Blow it all out. And basically that'll be it for now. I'm not going to bother with the oil. Because no use putting new oil in it and let it sit all winter. We'll just leave the old oil in it. Leave the old air filter in it. And worry about that in the spring when you get it ready for cutting season. But I will grease all the whatever grease fittings there are, I'll grease those and get that done. And then when I'm done that one, I gotta do the John Deere here as well. So I got two of them and two lawn mowers. So I think you can see under the deck here, there's a lot of grass that I have to scrape off. And it's probably gonna be really hard, but it has to be done. The blades will need sharpening too, but like I said, we'll wait till the spring probably for that. All right, so I cleaned the deck on the other riding lawnmower. It's all done. I put uh, fuel stabilizer in the tank. I ran it for a while and I put it away. Now I'm doing this one. The deck wasn't dirty because I've been mulching the leaves quite a bit and that caused it to clean underneath the deck like really clean. It's awesome. So now I'm just greasing the grease fittings here in the front, whatever other ones I could find. And I'll put fuel stabilizer in the fuel tank on this one too, run it a little bit, and that'll be it. I'm going to put it away for the winter. Come springtime, I will change the oil in the oil filter and the air filter. And on this lawnmower, I would, well, normally I would sharpen the, the cutting blades. There's three of them on this one. But these ones have been sharpened a few times and they're not too good anymore. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy new blades for it. And I'll put new blades on here. And I'll check all the belts. There's two belts. There's a drive belt and then there's a belt for the mowing deck. And uh, But I replaced, I think I replaced both of these last year on it. And one more thing you want to check is at the bottom of your steering shaft, there's a gear. It's about this round. There's a gear there. You just got to dab some grease on it. Just put a bit of grease on your finger and put some grease on that uh, that gear. One other thing you'll want to do is remove your battery from your riding lawnmower. It doesn't do it any good sitting out in the cold. It'll probably die. What I do is I keep it in my basement. I have a battery charger down there in my workshop. And I'll plug it in maybe every two months throughout the winter. Just to keep the charge up. And I'll just plug it in for, you know, overnight or half a day or something. And then I won't do it again for another two months. And that helps preserve your battery life. And really, that's all, really all you have to do for winterization. Is just really clean your deck so that grass isn't sitting under there. And it doesn't rust your deck. And also, you want to put a fuel stabilizer in your fuel tank. And just run it through maybe just a five minutes. Just to get the fuel st stabilizer through the system. And you should be good to go for the winter, and then come spring, it should start for you right away. Mine always has. So with that, I hope this helps you winterize your riding lawnmowers. It's fairly simple. You don't need to take it to a dealer to service it for the winter or anything like that. That's basically all you have to do, and it'll be fine in the spring. So I hope this video helped you. Thank you for watching, and if you can, support our channel. Just hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you again, and don't forget to subscribe.